Welcome to my channel. So today, guys, I'm going to be sharing with you how to use lead pages to set up a quick capture page or if you have a freebie or something like that that you want for people to sign up for. I'm going to be walking you through how you can easily set this page up with lead pages. So this is just an impromptu video, guys. Anything could come up. <laughs> Um, the screen could move slow, anything. So please bear with me during this video. So if you don't know me yet, guys, my name is Dallas Gordon. I'm a business mentor and marketing consultant. And what I do, guys, is I help entrepreneurs to master their brand messaging, their money-making strategies, and their marketing strategies online. So if you're looking to do any of those things, you have come to the right channel. Be sure to hit the subscription button and turn on that notification bell for when I post new uploads. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to drop those in the comments below or if there's anything that you would like to see on this channel if i'm able to share it i will okay guys so let's move into it so i'm inside of my lead pages account right now um the first thing that you're going to want to do and let me just go back to the first page the first thing that you're going to want to do when you log into your lead pages account is you're going to want to go over to the top right where it says create a new landing page because we're going to be creating this page from scratch so one of the easier ways that I find, guys, um, to get started is to get started with one of the lead pages templates. So if you um, drop down here where it says all types, you can easily scroll down to um, sort by the type of templates that you want to set up. So you can do newsletter sign up if that's what you're looking to do, a free resource or a quick download if that's what you're looking to do. So I'm just going to click on free resource and download and see what's available on this side. So as you guys can see, there are a lot of really, really cool templates here that you can select from. So I'm just gonna select the one that I feel like is close um, as possible, gets close as possible to the look that I want. Um, let's see, so I'll just click on this one here. So if you view it, it allows you to get sort of like a preview of what this template looks like. So this is a very, very, very simple page. Um, and I don't know guys, I wanna try another one. So here's another one that looks pretty clean. So I'm just viewing these to see whether or not this is the template that I want to use. So for now, I'm just gonna go with this one. And I just wanna show you, this can be done really easily if you work off of a template. So we're going inside, so I'm gonna name the page. And this name that I put here can be changed later. I'm just gonna say test a uh, lead magnet sign up and I'm gonna hit continue so what I love about lead pages guys is that um, their templates most of most of them are just easy drag and drop templates very 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 easy to use so as you can see all I really have to do here to kind of make it my own and according to my branding is change this background okay change the colors if I wanted to add my logo, I could, or what have you. And I just need to change it according to whatever it is that my particular, um, you know, what I want for people to do. Okay, so what we're gonna start with, we're gonna start with the background picture. So I'm gonna click on the background, and then you see that this blue box comes up around it. I'm gonna click the dots, and I'm gonna go to edit the section settings. So here at the top, guys, I can change this image to whatever other image I would like to change it to. So I'm just gonna kind of work off of um, some of the uploads that I already have in here. I'm gonna scroll until I can find something that I feel would look right. So let's see. So right now for one of my businesses, I'm actually giving away um, some free journal templates. So maybe that's the example that I'll use today. So I'm just gonna try to pick one of these backgrounds, not that one. Let's try this one. I'm just gonna put it behind there, okay? Just like that. And then I'm going to change my words and fonts. So I'm just gonna go here and I'm gonna say something like, get your free um, journal template bundle 
Okay, and I'm gonna keep it simple, guys, so that we're not here too long. I'm just gonna keep it simple. So we can change this to whatever font we want. Just look through at whatever fonts um, you feel fit your brand uh, the most. So I'm just scrolling down to see what I wanna use in here because the fonts are a little limited. To be honest, they don't have a whole lot of fonts in here. So you wanna get as close as you possibly can, you know, to your own brand. So I'm just gonna put, get your free journal template bundle. I'm gonna say, click the button below. So what I said was click the button below to subscribe. We'll email your journal templates and discount right away. And I'll say in 10% discount. Or maybe I'll take that out. Maybe I'll just say that later. Okay, so down here I'll just say get the templates. And I can always change my button by clicking on the button and going to colors and I'm just going to use one of these brand colors here um, for now, okay? And I can always just delete this part here or I can, they, they have like their name of their business there with a the copyright I can put my business, okay? So this is a very simple one guys, okay? So I wanna kinda show you what this is looking like so far. So this is what it's looking like so far. Um, and I am going to publish this page so that you can we can see what it's looking like so far. Let me, well, before I publish it, let me click preview first so that we can preview the page. So this is what it's looking like. I mean, I'm free to add pictures of the templates here underneath of this text. That's probably what I'm gonna come back and do. Um, and you can do that very easily by just sliding in a widget. So you can go over to the left side, click on widgets and select image. And we can actually just slide the image in. So you just want to make sure that the blue is selected. That's how you know where your image is going to go. And if we wanted to give them an example of what the templates look like, we could always just slide that in right here as a photo. And... From here, we want to now decide what our click event is gonna look like. So the click event, guys, is what happens when someone clicks. In this case, it's gonna be a pop-up, and this is the importance of selecting the right um, template before you get started. That way, the elements that you need are already here, but you can always drag them and drop them by going to widgets. But for now, I'm just gonna click edit the pop-up. So first I wanna make sure that everything is according to what it is that I'm offering and it's according to my branding again. So when someone clicks that button, this pop-up is gonna come up and I'm gonna say where, was it capitalized guys? I don't even remember. Should we send the templates? Okay, and then, um, I want to make sure that it's within the fonts that I'm using. So I'm going to go down to the font I used on the other page. Let me find that. Dancing script is what I used. Where should we send the templates? They put in their email. If you want their first name as well, you just click over email. And then on the side, you can always add that. So we're going to click on the email address. And then this opens up the integrations here. And there's a section in lead pages where you can add your different integrations. So I'm just gonna click add an integration first. So I want for, I'm, I'm actually not going to go too deep into this part because I'm actually going to, the widget that I'm gonna add in here is going to be from my um, email 
app that I use inside of Shopify. So I'm actually not going to be using this pop-up for my particular page. I'm gonna come in here and just add some code. Um, but for you, you may want to connect ConvertKit or let's just say that you work with ConvertKit. Um, this is one of the email marketing services that Lead Pages integrates with. So you would just um, add that in your integrations first, and then you would come here and, co and select ConvertKit. You would need to log in to your ConvertKit account, choose the um, list that you want for their email address to go to, and you would make sure that that's all connected there. Okay, and this is where they this is where you would do that. So the next place is fields. This is where you're going to, if you want to add the name in as well, you're just going to hit the plus button and add in the first name. And then you can even um, make this um, a required field by checking this box. Hit done. And then we can even switch the position by hitting these little arrows. So that put the first name first and then the email. So next would be the actions. So you wanna choose what actions, um, what's gonna happen after the visitor puts their name and email in? What's gonna happen next? Are they gonna remain on this page? Do you have a, do you wanna use the default um, lead pages thank you page? Do you wanna use another landing page? So a lot of times what I do guys is I'll create a quick thank you page in lead pages, save it, publish it, and then I'll just connect it through here. So I'll select my thank you page. That way they go to it and I'm really just telling them to check their email. Okay, so you wanna decide what you want to happen next. For this example, I'm just gonna click on default lead pages thank you page and you can view how that's gonna look here. And it's not the prettiest thing, it's just saying thank you. Um, so you could always use that if you don't have um, anything else that you wanna do here. You even have the option to add your lead magnet right here if you'd like to um, for a file or link to be emailed to the visitors who complete your form. So you can also do that directly inside of Lead Pages if you want to. But I would definitely suggest that if you're using Lead Pages and you're collecting leads, that you definitely want to have some sort of email provider to work with. And I do have some videos, guys, on my channel talking about some of my favorite ones, and I'll be sure to link those in so you can check those out. So then we're going to save and close. From here, again, I'm going to click on the button and change the wording to send me the templates and then I'm gonna change my button color again to my brand color and click out of here okay so we've pretty much in a very short amount of time we've changed the background of the lead pages template we have changed the words and the fonts um, I plan on coming back and adding this picture we've Put a quick little simple button in here which is cool and um, from now we're just going to publish our page so I'm just gonna select the right domain that I want to publish I'll probably just keep it on this domain and I'm gonna change the end of the domain to free journal templates and publish it So just waiting a few seconds for it to publish. And now that it has, our page is published and you can copy this link here and then you can add it to your buttons or provide it out to your list or whatever you wanna do with it now, it's done. So now I'm just going to now click on the drop down and view our page so that we can see how it's looking. And this is how it looks, it looks beautiful. And here where the placeholder image is, I can, that's there because I haven't put my image in yet, but I plan to put a photo guys that I've made in Canva with the picture of, like an example picture of the um, template bundle that I'm gonna be giving for free. So um, if you are interested in the template bundle, definitely visit my store at dgjournals.com and sign up for the list because I'll be sharing out this template um, and it'll also be available on the store for you to get it as well. So if you have any questions, please definitely drop them below. This is kind of a basic introductory video, guys, with how to create a quick um, page for your lead magnet. 
using lead pages. And thanks so much for watching, guys. I will see you on the next one. Be blessed.